What's up, I'm Vin, and today I wanna to show how to construct a parallel line through a point. I'm gonna use something called the triangle method. So what you do is, let's say I wanna construct a line parallel to this line going through this point. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a triangle up to this point like this, and it doesn't have to be any kind of special triangle. It could be some triangle like this. And now I'm gonna place a random point here, and what I wanna do is, starting at this point, I'm gonna copy this triangle here from the left. So I'll start by moving the compass over here to the triangle, and I'm gonna copy this line segment here. So I have to measure first, and I'm gonna make a mark here just to show that I'm measuring. And I'm gonna move the compass over to this red point, and I'm gonna swing an arc so that it hits the original line. And now I just have to repeat this for the other side. So I'm gonna go over here to the second side, and I'm gonna extend this just to make sure that it's exact, that it measures exactly to the length of that second side. And now I go over to our red point here, I place this on the red point, and I'm gonna swing the arc like this. So once again, I'm just copying that triangle. And now what I wanna do is I'm gonna copy the last side here, the third side, so I have to measure once more. So in this case, I'm gonna have to extend a little bit, and I'm gonna swing an arc like this. And now for this one, I have to be just a little bit careful. I have to move the compass over here because I don't know exactly where the third point is on this arc. So it makes more sense for me to start at this point over here. So now I have the three points and I'm gonna build my triangle. So let's connect here. We have this side here, so this is the first side, the second side, and then the third side is just sitting right here. So now the last step here is just to connect these two points across the top. And what we have here is that this line that I just constructed here is going to be parallel to the original. So I could throw arrows on this and name the lines. Now the conclusion, once again, we could draw here is that line L is parallel to line M. So now why did this process work? Well, by copying the triangle from the left over here to the right, what we did was we made an exact copy of this triangle. And since the altitude of both triangles are the same, this guarantees that when we construct a line connecting the two high points like this, that the space between this line and the line underneath stays the same throughout. And that's the definition of parallel lines. Parallel lines are lines that don't intersect. The altitude between them stays the same throughout. So that's why this process works.